You're watching Northwest Florida's news station. This is Channel 3 News at 5. Good afternoon. A Pensacola family is suing the owners of the Oakwood Terrace Apartments. And this comes after a recent shooting at that same complex where their loved one, a rapper named Frozone, was murdered. And Channel 3's Lauren Craycall spoke to the family and their attorney. What are they hoping to see happen, Lauren? Well, Sue, the family believes their loved one's death could have been avoided had the apartment complex taken more security measures. They tell me they're outraged by what they're calling a lack of change to make something happen. We miss him dearly. Her son, Quantarian Rivers, a local rapper known as Frozone, was murdered in broad daylight last summer at the Oakwood Terrace Apartments in Pensacola. He left behind a nearly three-month-old daughter. If he was here, he'll be a great father to his daughter. Over the weekend, an eerily similar situation occurred. Another young father was shot and killed at the same apartment. It's ridiculous. Demanding a change. The Rivers family filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Marquise Group, the real estate company that manages the apartment, citing negligent security. They believe Quantarian's death could have been prevented. If the apartment complex took more security measures, Adam Finkel with the Haggard Law Firm is representing the family. Armed criminals drove through broken, open gates, no guards, insufficient cameras, looking for trouble. And ultimately, Quantarian Rivers was shot and killed. If you look at the security measures that are and are not present at this property, they do not genuinely care about the people that are living here. Back in April, Channel 3 News launched an investigation following a mass shooting at the complex that sent five people to the hospital. Since our reports, Oakwood Terrace Apartments installed new cameras and upgraded others. Finkel says he hasn't heard about these measures and adds that no matter what's been done, it hasn't been enough to compensate this family who's lost so much. Somebody who was one of the most important people in my life. He's gone forever and he's not coming back. Like, he's not coming back. I called and emailed the real estate company that oversees those apartments. A woman answered the phone and tells me that no one was able to help because they're all out for the holiday weekend. Reporting for Channel 3 News, I'm Lauren Craycall.